One big thing over there is transportation. You can always find a tricycle, which is a motorcycle with a sidecar attached to it. And you tell the driver where you want to go and you get into the sidecar and he'll just take you there. And then once you get there, you pay him 10 pesos if it's like a short trip or 15, sometimes 20. And it's a really efficient way to get around just because you can always find them and then you don't have to waste time walking. Another means of transportation that's a little bit different is a jeepney which is like a long, pretty much jeep, but it has two benches in it that are perpendicular to <clears throat> the driver. And you just get in and it has a set route. And then when you want to hop out, you just knock on the ceiling and then you hop out the back. And it was always an adventure <laughs> traveling on the jeepneys because you're not always sure like which route they're gonna take or if you're on the right one, but it's really fun. This one time my companion and I just hopped in a jeepney because we were coming home from a meeting and we didn't really stop to check. Um, on the side, it tells you the route of where the jeepney goes. We didn't stop to check what the route was. We just thought, yeah, this is where our jeepney always parks. And the jeepney started driving down the road and then it got further and further away from where we needed to go. And then we realized that we were on the wrong jeepney. And so we just hopped off and then we were able to get back on the right jeepney. But it was just a good lesson. Like <laughs> you need to always check and just be careful where you're gonna go um, so you don't get lost. Filipinos are so friendly and so loving. Like they are so kind and so welcoming. It was such a different culture um, than I was used to here in America. And it surprised me at first how willing people were to talk to us and to let us into their homes and to feed us. They're so polite. If you go into their house and they're eating, they will offer you whatever they're eating just because that's the nature of their culture. They're also very sensitive and can sometimes be easily offended, but they always do everything to try to like save face so they won't let you know that they're offended and they'll kind of like close off from you and that's that's just kind of their culture. So you have to learn to be sensitive to that um, and just love them despite that difference because I feel like here in America we're very straightforward, we're very direct and sometimes if you're like that with the Filipinos they get offended because they're not used to that directness in their culture because they are so polite and so formal with each other. But I love Filipinos, they are so funny, they have this this really funny sassy sense of humor that um, it takes a little bit to uh, understand and to like find that their jokes are funny but after you start to understand it they are hilarious and they'll make you laugh and they love making people laugh so <laughs> it's great. Filipino food is rice. They love rice. They eat rice for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and snacks and all day every day. They just love their rice. If it doesn't have rice in it, it's not a meal to them. They think it's just like a snack or whatever. And so I never really got into the eating the rice for breakfast kind of thing, but I would eat it for lunch. Their food is so good. I actually gained weight in the mission because I just loved the food so much, but I didn't even care because it was so good. They have ulam, which is just whatever you eat with the rice. So it could be vegetables, it could be meat, it could be a combination of the two, it could be fish, um, but you always have your rice and you always have your ulam. They also have very different kinds of snacks, but they have what are called tindahans, which are just everywhere. So when you're out proselyting, you can never get hungry because there's literally like this little tindahan, it's like a little shop on almost every corner. And so you can stop and buy snacks for like five pesos, 10 pesos, which is really cheap. So there's like a ton of different kinds of cookies and candies and crackers to try and chips. And the markets, we would go to these open air markets that they have in every single town. And you can buy fresh fruits and vegetables for really cheap. They have really good mangoes and all different kinds of fruits that they don't have here in America that are just incredible. So it's possible to eat healthy if you're trying and if you like plan ahead and buy your fruits and vegetables, but you can pretty much find like any kind of healthy food that you're looking for. They don't have a lot of American foods, but you can find food that you like. They have a lot of variety. So one of my favorite foods there was adobo, um, which they make with chicken or sometimes with duck 
or beef. It's meat that's been marinated in soy sauce and vinegar, which sounds kind of weird, but it's so good. And then they cook it all up and it's just really tender and really flavorful and you eat it with the rice. I also really like pandesal, which is um, hot rolls that you can buy from these little bakeries on the street. So sometimes we would stop at night on our way home and buy those hot rolls that are just fresh from the oven. And those are always like such a treat. We had some really crazy experiences when it would rain. A couple months out of the year is monsoon season and so it just rains every single day, all day. And so the streets would flood and sometimes we'd be walking in flood water up to our knees and we got to wear rubber boots but sometimes the floods were so deep that the water would just go right inside your rubber boots and so you would get wet anyways. So I just learned how to be happy and enjoy being in the rain, which isn't something that we normally would think you would learn on the mission, but I just remember there were some nights when we would get into a tricycle at the end of the day. We were already soaking wet and it's still raining outside. And so as you're in the tricycle, you're sitting there and it's going fast down the road and the rain is just like coming in because there's no like protection between you and the rain and so we would just get even more soaked and sometimes it would feel like a, a ride at a water park or something because you're just like there's nothing you can do but just get wet. There are a couple times that we had big typhoons that would come through and it would just rain a lot. Unang una sa lahat, mahal na mahal ko ang mga Pilipino, mahal na mahal ko ang Pilipinas. Um, Alam ko na ang simbahan ni Jesu Cristo ng mga banal sa mga huling araw ay totoo. Alam ko na totoo ang aklat ni Mormon at kung magbabasa po tayo ng aklat ni Mormon araw-araw, um, makakaroon po tayo ng mas liwanag um, and uh, sa, sa ating mga buhay. Alam ko na ang, ang gawain ng Diyos ay ang pinaka, pinakamahalagang gawain um, sa buong mundo. I, at kung gagawin po natin ang lahat-lahat para sundin ang mga kautusan at ang plano ni Jesus Christo para sa atin, uh, maaari po natin bumalik sa ating ama sa langit. I, maaari po natin maging katulad sa kanya palang araw. Alam ko na ang, ang mission ay sobrang mahirap pero Sobrang sulit siya para sa mga tao na maaring malaman ang katotohanan um, tungkol sa Ebanghelyo ni Heso Kristo at ang pananumbalik. E, at sobrang, sobrang masaya ako na nakapag-mission ako sa, sa Pilipinas.